So, you know, today I want to show you guys how to Carolina rig. We're in the summer now. This is, this is actually my time. I love summer fishing and I love Carolina rig fishing. Today, we're going to concentrate on long main lake points that drop off and then have high spots off the ends of the points. We're really going to concentrate on those higher spots. They're good, high percentage fish areas this time of year, and it'll probably be good all the way to the beginning of fall. So we I'm got... dragging, I want to make sure that I keep dragging the Carolina rig, maintaining bottom contact, but I want the bait to continuously move. I don't want to just soak it and let it sit there. I want to keep moving it. There he is. So here I am, I, I'm casting, I'm making sure that I cast over the high spot and bringing my bait down, down the brake line at an angle, 45 degree, give or take. Oh my goodness. Oh, this fish is not hooked very good. <laughs> Look at that. That is a nice, that's a nice bass right there. <laughs> he, he barely got it too. He ran that thing down when I started reeling it in. That's a nice bass. Man. Cast on the high spot, bring it down the brake line at a slight angle so you're covering more of the brake line. So here, let me tell you my basic Carolina rig setup. I'm using a seven and a half foot medium heavy bait caster. My main line is 50 pound braid. I have a three quarter ounce tungsten sinker, a plastic bead, a crane swivel, about 18 to 22 inches of monofilament and a Texas rigged or Texposed, I prefer Texposed, Yum Money Craw. Got him, see what I mean? Keeping that bait moving the whole time. Oh, that's a good one. This, I'm telling you right now, you, you, can't, beat, you can't beat this rig. The, the Carolina rig gets a lot of bad attention by guys saying it's the quitters rig and everything else and that you never catch any big fish on it. But the reality of it is, is the Carolina rig in today's young anglers is probably the most underutilized fishing tool in their arsenal. Come to me. It's probably the most underutilized fishing tool in their arsenal and this and it's such a mainstay in the fishing world today. Guys underrate this Carolina rig. Don't underrate it. It's a great fishing tool. Look at that. That's a beauty.